Hi there, today is Thursday, October the 6th. It's hard to believe we're that far into the year now, but uh, we are. It's, today's reading is Jeremiah 22, 23, and 26, Psalm 77, and James 2. There's five chapters to read there, three in Jeremiah, one in Psalms, and one in James. And we're going to be listening for God together today. I hope you've already done that. If you've not, this would be a great time just to pause me. Push pause me right now. I tricked you. You didn't push pause. And then go and read here uh, and see what God is saying to you. Uh, I was a, a one line sentence that God declares in Jeremiah 23 that caught my eye. Just one line that stuck out to me. And I like to read things in context, but sometimes God says things that just really hammer home uh, just in any context to me what's going on. In Jeremiah 23 verse 1 is the first verse. It says, Woe to the shepherds who are destroying and scattering the sheep of my pasture, declares the Lord. That's it. I just want to, for a second, um, just in the last couple of weeks, I've talked a lot about leadership and I've talked a lot about, uh, about people being healthy leaders, following healthy leaders and, and pursuing the kingdom of God first. But right here, this line today, in Jeremiah 23, Woe to the shepherds who are destroying and scattering the sheep of my pasture, brought me pause for a second because I I wonder I wonder how often we flippantly become shepherds who are destroying the flock without even realizing it maybe it's just that we gather up uh, with some friends and we've had a long day maybe we're frustrated and we start complaining and our complaints move through things they move from job to to home to family to church and we're complaining because this happened that i remember the good old days when we did this in our church or that in our church and we don't do it anymore we're complaining but people don't hear the context for that they don't hear all this going on they don't know your full heart they just hear the words and, and they might walk away only hearing that about your church and then if they had any interest in joining you in the family of god they're like not now not now man you you trashed it a little too much for me or intentionally scattering destroying the sheep or how often do we gather up with other believers and we're not even complaining now we're not even frustrated or complaining but we're just talking but we're all friends and so we're talking and we're laughing and we're carrying on and, and and then someone says something and we flippantly uh sarcastically respond with something and they respond something back and now we're kind of arguing about it we're having fun and surely everybody knows that we're friends and we're having fun and it's a great time but then somebody's watching and they're watching the other side of the room and they're like they don't seem to really like each other that much. I don't, I don't know about this church thing. How often are we guilty of destroying and scattering the sheep? Maybe it's you and our own family. Maybe, maybe you have kids and you say, sure, I want my kids to be raised in the church. I want them to follow Jesus before the kingdom of God. I want them, I want them to seek first the kingdom of God and everything that's in it. And I want them to love Jesus with all their heart, their soul, their mind, their strength, and love people like themselves. I want these things for them. But, but then we actually raise our kids to be more in love with a sport or a lake or a hunting trip or a video game than we are raising them to be in love with Jesus. And we unintentionally, tragically, destroy and scatter the sheep even in our own house or how often do we find ourselves scattering ourselves we know Jesus says I will never leave you I'll never forsake you I'll never abandon you I'll be with you always to the very end of the age we know Jesus says on mission he said in this world take heart you'll have trouble I have trouble too you'll have trouble for sure I know Jesus said if they hated me they'll hate you my follower I know that but then at the end of a rough day we look in the mirror and we ignore all that and we focus on the fact that we just kind of feel alone today. Where is God now? We cry out. Where is he? Why would he let this happen to me? Why would the person I love get sick? Why is this going on? And we actually destroy and scatter our self away from the shepherd. I want to encourage you. I want to encourage you that part of loving God with all our heart, our mind, our soul, and our strength, and part of loving people as ourselves, part of loving people well, means that we are constantly viewing people through the lens that God gave us. Every single person, every woman, every man, every child that's ever been created, up to and including right now, they are all the children of God, God's masterpiece. And our role is to see them as such and to make our words and our actions 
always bring them back to the shepherd. We surrender maybe our own feelings at times. We surrender our own frustrations. We surrender our own uh, moments of being upset, our own right to get even. We surrender these things to make sure that our mind is focused, our words are focused, our eyes are focused, and our hands are focused on embracing the sheep and bringing them back to the shepherd. I don't know about you, but I don't want myself or you to be guilty of hearing the words, woe to you who are destroying and scattering the sheep of my pasture. Today, you make your mission, your ministry, be a ministry of healing, a ministry of unity, a ministry of gathering people together so you can help people thrive in the family you've got. Until I see you again, you are sent.